I can't go out. <coughs> I'm sick. to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a review about Mott Hair and their Balayage Hair Extensions. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to install them and how to just simply switch up the look of your hair without going to the salon and just getting a really, really cute, simple balayage at home. And it's so easy and I can't believe I haven't thought of this before, but this product alone is just so amazing and it can kind of just switch up your whole style if you're stuck in a rut and you don't wanna go to the salon and pay a bunch of money and have a permanent hairdo um, maybe for indecisive like me but today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to install Mott hair balayage extensions they have a bunch of different colors on their site if I have a coupon code I will leave it here as well as in the description below and let's get started so I already looked at the hair but it comes in this really beautiful packaging um, it's like a present on Christmas morning um, okay so there's different hairs that you can get uh, it also came with this cute little hair pin, which is really, really beautiful. I think that's so cute, um, but we're not gonna use that today. We are gonna be using the hair, so it comes like this, and this is the color, so it's not crazy different from my hair, um, but it is gonna give us a really, really beautiful balayage look. So it comes with a bunch of different pieces, so it comes with some four strips, some two strips, some three strips, and some one strip, and by that I mean the clip, um, and that'll help you kind of put it in. I like to start with the bigger clips on the bottom and then the smaller clips on the top for more seamless sort of application on the hair. Um, and it also comes with one little tester piece when you purchase so that it kind of shows you what it's gonna look like without having to open up the whole bundle. But obviously I've already opened mine up um, and I'm going to go ahead and start installing it. So I've actually tried this once and it worked out really, really well. So I'm excited to do it again with you guys and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I can't talk I've been doing a bunch of stupid stuff all day but if you guys are interested in purchasing these make sure you click the link in the bio and let's get right into the review slash try on so what you're gonna need definitely is a hair tie because this is gonna help us section our hair off there are two different ways to do this but I'm gonna do it the way that I kind of found easier um, as you can see my hair is a little bit wavy um, and what that means for me right now is that with these extensions they are pretty straight which means I'm probably gonna have to go back in and um, kind of redo my hair so it looks kind of uniform because if your hair is straight and your extensions aren't straight um, or vice versa like what's happening right now it's gonna look definitely messy and I want it to be seamless as possible so let's go ahead and install these um also I'm really excited about this because it's just gonna give you more volume and just make your hair look bigger and thicker which I think is so fun like especially if you have like somewhere to go to and you want to switch it up or you've always wanted balayage but you don't want the commitment or you're scared that they might ruin your actual hair um which happened to me in the past um at the time I enjoyed it but like looking back I was like no it was not the right shade of like a blonde and it just looked bad so this is like a foolproof way of making sure that your hair looks like what you want it to so let's go ahead and get started on the balayage hair extension application by Mott so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair off um, I do have a lot of hair so depending on how much hair you have you might want to section it accordingly I'm gonna go ahead and section it off by leaving a little bit on the bottom um, but of course you want to leave enough so that your hair extensions can actually stick in that space so it doesn't have to be completely completely uniform. I kind of just eyeball it and see like how I feel. Um, and then I'll take the top part and I'll put it in like a loose little bun at the top of my head, just so it's kind of out of the way. So obviously this doesn't look the cutest, but that doesn't matter because it's gonna look cute by the end of it. So I'm gonna start with the four clips. So we have three, two, and here's a four. So there's a four clip here and there's two of each. So I'm gonna go in with a four clip. So I'm gonna unclip them just like that. And I wanna start around my ear, but not too close to my ear because I can kind of blend it in afterwards. So you just go in and clip it down. And you're gonna do that all around. Depending on how long your head is, you might need more or less. And when it's in there, 
it's gonna look something like that okay and like i said because the texture of my hair right now is different than the extensions it's gonna look a little bit weird but it will come together so let's go to the next layer same thing we're not gonna leave too much room i want it to kind of fill up my hair without taking up too much space so we're going and doing the next layer if you have a brush and you want to use that to kind of measure exactly where you want it that is awesome so i'm going in with the second clip and you can see that it's kind of like dark in the front and then it goes light on the bottom so that's what's going to help it blend really really nicely and let's start on this side this time so i'm just taking the clip and i'm going to put it right there in the front and clip it down so i know it looks a little crazy right now but you guys got to trust the process okay so next i'm going to use a three clip on this side um i just want to build it up so it looks like i have volume and it also kind of just blends in with my natural hair there you go there you go super easy okay let's move on to the next layer so i'm just eyeballing this i find that the best way for me if i can feel it out um having a mirror right in front of you is also definitely gonna help um but it's really easy honestly and it will blend in when you style it all at the end as well okay now we're left with some two clips and some one clips so I'm going to put one right here and then we're going to let the rest of the hair down and just kind of see where we can put the other ones. So right in the back. Okay, and now we're letting the rest of the hair down. Okay, so now that the rest of the hair is down, you can kind of see that it's added like a bit of color, but it still hasn't been kind of fixed up here. So we're going to go ahead and do the front part. So I'm going to go ahead and put the single ones kind of right underneath my front hairs because I want those to go in the front so it kind of seamlessly blends in. Here's a, another one going right in the front. <laughs> this one's gonna go right in the front. So it's kind of all assembled with my hair. Right now it obviously looks a little bit strange because my hair texture and the texture of the balayage is a little bit different. So I'm gonna go get a styling tool and we're gonna fix this up and make it look so good. I promise you guys so for my hair tool i'm going in with the new me this is the five in one hair wand and i'm obviously gonna wear something like this to protect my hands from the heat your girl's not getting burnt not today hell no ah, my nails literally will not allow it it looks so good already it's just like blended so perfectly and i'm excited to curl it because it's all gonna look uniform and not like Kind of like a mess so when i curl it i'm gonna kind of put like waves in it and i'm gonna do it in sections from this side the back and then this side i'm gonna go ahead and put this away so we can get to that after but as you can see it added so much volume and it just looks so cool and different brb while i wait for this to get smoking hot i don't know where i put my glove no soon so here is the wand let's go ahead and start curling we're not gonna fully curl we're just gonna kind of add some like waves to it if you know what i mean kind of blend it this is boring for you i know that okay i'm gonna go curl the rest off camera and then i'll be back okay so i just got back from curling all my hair and honestly the blend is so 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 nice it looks so natural and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some hairspray in and then i'm gonna kind of brush it out with my fingers so that's just gonna help them stay and this is the ion volumizing freezing spray love this stuff and now i'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of pull my hair out so that the curls kind of become like looser waves and that's pretty much it guys it feels so good so this is what it looks like up close it looks really nice and blended and honestly i'm pretty much obsessed with it like i feel like i've gone to the salon and gotten like a whole new hairdo which is really cool and i think this goes with like a lot of outfits especially like just like if you're trying to switch up your look or if you have an event or something it gives you volume it gives you that balayage it gives you that peak of color they're really really comfortable in your hair as well and i'm obsessed so if you love the way this turned out give this video a thumbs up and if you want to purchase these they will be linked in the description obviously i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one